Hello everyone, this is Krishna Kant Roy. Today uh, we are going to discuss a very interesting concept in econometrics or you can call it in time series data that is uh, stationarity or stationary. So we'll start with the understanding of stationarity and non-stationarity of data set. So let us uh, first go through the definition of stationarity. It's a stochastic process or series um, that is uh, called as stationary if its mean and variance are constant over time and the value of covariance between two time periods depends only on the distance or gap or lag between two time periods and not the actual time. So uh, three things are important here. Number one, mean should be constant over a period of time, variance uh, should be constant over a period of time and covariance is uh, captured uh, in terms of the lag, right. So here mean and variance is going to be very important. So imagine a data set, time series data set where we are saying that the mean is constant over a period of time. The first query comes to anybody's mind is mean, if you take a data set let us say of 20 years. And if you calculate mean, mean is just a number, the mean is always going to be constant. But how can we make statement that mean is constant over a period of time? So we are, we are going to elaborate upon it, mean and variance, how, what do we mean by mean is constant over a period of time? Uh, but before that, let us try and understand why uh, this stationary, uh, see stationary is an adjective and stationarity is a noun. So interchangeably used uh, depending upon the context of the uh, study. So why stationary time series are so important? Why we require stationary time series? It is important because if any series or any time series is non-stationary, then what happens? We will not be able to generalize. We apply uh, statistical techniques um, and then we will not be able to generalize and if you cannot generalize a series which is non-stationary then we cannot forecast also although forecast can be done but those will not make much of sense. So therefore when we are dealing with time series data to get meaning out of data first and foremost thing is that we check for stationary and if it is not stationary or non-stationary then we need to convert it into stationary data sets. So it is very very important a phenomena or concept uh, when we dealing with time series data. So of course now mm, we do not require any formal definition of non-stationary if those criteria mean variance vary over a period of time or you call it these statistical properties changes over a period of time then that kind of uh, series is called as non-stationary time series. Uh, basically, if, if let us say a data set uh, which have upward trend or downward trend or a data set which has some kind of seasonal patterns uh, so where the vari variance changes over a period of time, then you call it non-stationary data set. A non-stationary time series um, will have time varying mean and time varying variance or both. One could classify uh, that this kind of data as a random walk or we call it random walk model, right. But how do we identify that the biggest question is how we are going to identify that a series or a time series is stationary or non-stationary. Well, there are many methods. Uh, of course, one you can call it loosely informal me method, which is like a uh, visualization of the data. You plot the data over a period of time and then see whether uh, you are getting similar kind of mean variance and all that. Another uh, way, a very formal way is a statistical test. We, we call it formal methods and very famous test which is used uh, by almost all the softwares or packages uh, which is called as augmented Dukifula test. Uh, we are not going into that 
what exactly is augmented to be filler test at this point in time. We will discuss in the subsequent videos. Uh, but yes, there are other tests also. Uh, yes. But now let us try visually uh, in this video, let us uh, understand visually what do we mean by uh, stationary light. Okay. Now, if you look at these three panels, these three panels, the first panel, what is happening? If you plot a data set and it is like this, then you call it the mean. If you break this data into two parts, let's say the mean is varying, mean is not same. So clearly it is visible that in this first panel, the mean over a period of time is varying. If you break the data into two or three parts or two or three time periods. Now the second panel, what is happening? You can clearly see mean is going to be constant if you calculate. But the variance, the spread is actually changing. So in the initial part, in the initial phase, the spread is more. But in the later phase, the spread is less. So you can call it that, that this second panel, what is happening, the variance is changing. Although the mean seems to be fixed over a period of time. In the third panel, what is happening, it seems... If you calculate mean, visually we can say that mean is same and more or less standard deviation or variance is also same. But here if you see the time lag between these drawings, these are like not same. So here uh, <clears throat> in terms of diagram, you can see the horizontal distance between uh, one um, up to second up. So basically it is difficult to depict uh, through diagram, but uh, you, you can say these yellow lines are not same. So you can call it the covariance uh, here is not same. Uh, that means all the three, uh, none of the panel, the data or the series is following all the conditions of stationarity. Now, if you look at the next three panels, uh, these panels, so what is happening in the first panel, the mean is same. In the second panel, variance is same. In the third panel, covariance, the distance that yellow line you can see is same. Or here, if you look at carefully, mean is also same, standard deviation is also same and most likely more or less covariance is also same. In this also, all are same. In this also. So, in the bottom three panels, you can call the series is more or less stationary. Uh, when I am saying more or less, this is actually the definition what we have learned in the beginning. So, this definition is also called as uh, weekly stationary. Weekly stationary, right? So, there is another concept also which is called as strong stationary. But uh, we are not going into a strong stationary because for that uh, we need to understand the function and the probability distribution. Basically, uh, just to quickly add, uh, a series can be called as strong stationary if the probability distribution is same um, over a period of time. Uh, so, most of the data set what we deal is um, uh, weak stationary. We will we look into weak stationary or not. So, that is the uh, broad understanding in terms of uh, mean variance and covariance of a data set. Now, there are various examples. Now, if you look at these examples, let's say, uh, and quickly discuss. Uh, in the first panel, you can see that definitely mean is varying, standard deviation is also varying, and um, covariance is also varying. So, definitely this is not stationary. Second, it's an upward trend kind of thing, although. Uh, of course, mean is also, if you split the data set into two, mean of those two time periods, mean is going to be different. So, mean is varying. Of course, standard deviation is also varying. You can see the spread on the latest uh, stage, it's more. Uh, in the third data set, the mean across time is kind of constant. The standard deviation is more or less weakly constant. And the covariance, the distance, horizontal distance between one spike, one up to one low is also more or less same. 
So we can suspect in the third time series, we can suspect that it can follow stationary uh, properties. In the fourth, it is difficult because uh, variance is changing. Although mean more or less is same if you divide the data set into two or three uh, time periods, but uh, variance and covariance are going to vary. And in the fifth, it is very, very visible that uh, mean uh, variance and uh, covariance all are different. In the final data set, sixth data set, we can suspect that mean is going to be same. Variance in the later stage, uh, it is a uh, little different uh, and covariance is also seem like uh, more or less same. So, if we from visual uh, analysis, we can say time series 3 and time series C, a 6, we can suspect that um, there is a chance that it is going to be, uh, you can call it stationary. But this is again, as, as I said, uh, visual inspection, but uh, there are more formal methods which can tell you whether the data is stationary or not that we will discuss later um, in another video. There are more uh, also more examples also you can see all these diagrams and you can quickly suspect if, if I just quickly say. So take a pause of this video and look at all these diagra diagrams and comment which one you think that is going to be stationary all right you just need to write the panel which panel a b c d e f g h i which panel you think that data is going to be stationary and even if you write y that is uh, wonderful all right you can pause this video and you can comment in the uh, in the section below all right so Later, we'll decide more about uh, unit root process and why uh, we require a unit root process to understand random walk model. And from th there, we can actually move towards Duke Filler, the contribution of Duke Filler. So hopefully, this uh, video is useful to understand the basic dynamics of uh, stationary. And in case of any question or query, you can write in the comment section. I'll try to answer. Thank you very much for uh, listening. Have a wonderful day.